What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. So I'm showing you guys the Air Jordan 1 Low Golf Shattered Backboard. Now before I get into the video, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates me to keep going when I see you guys liking my content. Also, let's me know I'm in the right direction to show you guys what you want to see. If you're new to the channel, I just want to say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, there's a 4K video playing in the background of me, and you guys with news videos coming ahead of time. If you follow me on Instagram, at Davis. But let's get right into it, guys. So these did actually come out uh, June 1st. And uh, they are here today. I had got them yesterday, but I made like four videos for you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe on those videos. It really helps me out a lot. I've been going hard, pumping up this content. So um, please support the channel. It means a really lot to me. Um, dang, I don't even know what I just said. I'm still kind of tired. Just trying to get these videos out black box with the gold jump man up there. All right, the only thing that's different on the bottom is it says golf and things like that. On the front of the box, I did go to size 9.5 on these. We don't get a suggested retail. Retail on this is 140. Um, current resale is going for about 200 bucks and up. But um, I will say that the only way to get these for retail is by getting them off the Nike app. Um, if you got them from like a golf shoe or a golf, if you get them from like a golf store and things like that, you will have to pay a sales tax. But um, that's the only way to get it um for 140 if you got it off of the nike app because everywhere else is doing like a sale tax on them and i do live in new jersey so you know they normally don't put sale tax on shoes but if you get it from a golf store like i did with the air Jordan one on the shadow lows uh they had taxed those shoes but um anyway open up the top of the box here we do get a stamp right there we get the warranty golf paper that it comes with um and if you guys look at the paper here it's white with the 23s on it in gold open this up and we get this really nice shoe now it really does mimic the air jordan one shattered backboard except that suede on the toe box right there but other than that they are really clean and another different thing that we get it's like this shiny swoosh right there so that's pretty fire but um let's get right into it guys on the bottom of the shoe here it's all orange and it says golf down there with the swoosh pretty fire in my opinion now um these do Feel like you're just walking on a regular floor regular pavement uh the bottom does not feel like you actually have on cleats now um if you want to wear these for casual wear i think they look really nice with like jeans and oversized pants but um you know they are meant for golf but you know these are pretty nice in my opinion and probably the best alternative to having a shattered backboard if you don't want to put out a thousand dollars but um coming to the outside here we get a white outsole with some white stitching over top of that pretty fire same thing on the inside right there all right, coming back to the outside of the shoe, we get like this tumble leather in white. Okay, in the background, on top of that, we get that shiny leather swoosh in black. Pretty dope, in my opinion. All right, same thing on the inside right there. All right, now moving to the front panels right here. Comes in that black suede, all the way around the mud guard right there. Pretty fire. And then at the bottom, we get some white with um the orange creeping up from the bottom with those detailed stars. Okay, looking at the toe box here, we get this orange suede on the toe box okay pretty fine in my opinion it's like a new buck actually but um these will crease up so make sure you guys put some wearable shoe trees in these all right now coming up to the laces here we do get one pair of laces on these and they come with black laces um also we get a black mesh tongue and at the top of the black mesh tongue it has a jordan logo it says golf under an orange and the background of that is white all right um on the inside of the shoe we do get some cardboard inserts right here all right and then on the insole and then on the inside of the ankle on the inside it does say the sizing and things like that and then on the actual inside of the shoe it is black and on the actual insole it has like a satin material which makes these really comfortable on feet and the insole is black as well it has a jump man there it says golf under it and orange and has a sizing sticker over top of that and then under the insole it is green and then we get the stamps the same thing that's on the top of the box right there so make sure you guys are checking these out if you're buying them from the secondary market okay looking at the back of the shoes here we get this orange new buck okay and then we get the air jordan logo right there in white which is pretty fire in my opinion okay now i'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right now okay guys so this is what they look like on feet pretty clean in my opinion i think all lows look really well with like very nice tailored jeans and oversized track pants and things like that but anyway i am a true size nine i normally get nine and a half in all my shoes except for 450s and 350s but i believe like air Jordan one lows uh air force ones you know nike dunk lows you need to go true to size especially if you like to wear your shoes unlaced like i do like on the left side um but i was only able to get this in a 9.5 because on the nike app 
there is no 10 minute draw it's like first come first serve i did not win these off the sneakers app i won these off the nike app um so you know that's why i did get a 9.5 now these do run a little bit big as you guys can see i can make my foot come out the back here now um when i stand up as i'm gonna show you guys right now it does not do that you know what i mean like if i'm just playing with it and things like that it does not do that but um these really do look like the shattered backboard other than the suede material being on them so i think these are really clean so um you know if you can get these do so at asap <laughs> but i'm gonna show you guys when my foot is in the toe box here so i'm wiggling around but if you guys cannot tell my big toe is right here so i do have a good amount of space in here now you can wear wearable shoe trees in these if you plan on wearing these for regular wear but you know most people are going to be wearing these for golf so um go true to size when you get these now also on the tied up pair it does feel really nice in this area it's not tight here at all it just feel really nice um and fitting now the satin on the bottom of the insole does feel really nice as well so you know you're going to be very comfortable in these shoes now if you guys look at the bottom here we have this cleat material on the bottom of the shoes and it feels like you're walking on a regular floor just like i explained to you guys in the last video you know what i mean um they feel really nice on feet so if you plan on getting these do so now because these will not be on the shelves very long so you know i would say you know go out for these because this is a really nice colorway in my opinion I'll show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now okay guys so i hope you guys like this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe show your boy some love and stay tuned